All right. How's it going? I'm Sarah and he's James and we're the Hold or Nothing. And we are in Trinidad, not the Caribbean island. It's actually a little city on the east of Bolivia and it's right in the middle of the rainforest. There's pink dolphins. Do you need to do any more? But first we had to make our way out of the busy metropolis of Santa Cruz de la Sierra. Bolivia isn't known for having great roads, especially away from the big cities, but our overnight journey was a relatively comfortable one. It's 8 o'clock in the morning and we have just got to Trinidad and found our hotel. And not only is it really nice, they let us check in early and I've just brought us some snacks. Okay, time to explore. Let's see what you say in Trinidad. This part of Bolivia isn't on the typical tourist route and we've been told by a taxi driver in Santa Cruz to be extra careful because of the proximity to illegal trading routes. So we were eager to see for ourselves what it actually felt like. So first impressions of Trinidad? Uh, first thing is it's hot. It's seriously <laughs> hot. Like hotter than anywhere else that we've been in Bolivia. Um, second thing is everyone's so friendly. It's been amazing. We've been welcomed to when we got to the hotel, we got uh, juice and some, some breakfast first thing. We weren't even meant to be checking in at that time. And then we've just been to the tourist information centre and they were super friendly as well. Um, everyone has said hello and smiled. Yeah, it's just a really nice atmosphere. Trinidad is also known as the city of motorcycles, which we were a little perplexed by at first because we hadn't seen many elsewhere in Bolivia. But because it's so hot and humid, People often just go for a drive around on their bikes without any particular place to go, simply to cool down. And this is PK Macho. If you've watched our other adventures in Bolivia, you'll have seen us eating it before. We got this to share, but it was actually a portion for one. One of the first things the tourism office suggested we do is the Ruta de los Museos. It goes via Trinidad's six free museums and covers everything you'd ever want to know about the area's history. So across the Beni wetlands, um, Trinidad is the capital of the department of Beni that we're in in the, the north of Bolivia right now. Um, they have these artificial hills that were created some over 3,000 years ago and there's about 20,000 of them and some of them are as high as 20 metres high. But basically because the area floods so much during wet season, they created them so that they could still farm here and they used to get in between them in boats. Some of the museums are inside the university and contain collections of species that are found in the Amazonian rainforest near here. It's proper fascinating, if not um, a little macabre. Have you seen any clocks? It's just moved, it is real. Whoa. Oh, look at it. Oh, it's cheap. It is right there. Oh, oh my god. Mm. But they're not dangerous apparently. He said they just scarfed it, didn't he, in the tourism office. And I guess it will, it'll just go in the water, won't it? Get a little closer. It's quite big, isn't it? Let's go in. So, I just want to highlight something. This place where we're looking at the crocodile is a park, but like a park as in like a park that people come in to for kids to go on play stuff. And there's some benches down there where you can sit and have a picnic. It's not like um 
I don't know, like a nature reserve park. It's just a general park where the crocodiles hang out. We later found out that these are actually caiman, which are closer in relation to alligators and not crocodiles. We got confused because the tourism office had called them cocodrilos. Anyway, on to our main reason for stopping off in Trinidad, to see if we could catch a glimpse of the pink river dolphins that live in this part of the Amazon. And so we rented a motorbike and headed out to a place called Puerto Bayavian. From the directions we'd been given, our cue to swing a left was a big plane wreck. First up, time to grab some grub at a restaurant with a view. The fish they serve here is freshly caught out of the river and is seriously good. After that, we asked the restaurant owner if he'd take us out in one of his boats to see the dolphins, or buffeos as they're locally known here in Spanish. We'd only gone about five minutes down the river when the guy cut the engine, and there they were. And they were all around us, but they were just so quick. It was such a magical experience and a proper highlight of our time in Bolivia. And the communities and way of life around here were absolutely fascinating. I mean, can you imagine this being the entrance to your house? We also popped by a place called Loma Suarez, which is home to a large Bolivian naval base. Now on the face of it, it may seem strange for a landlocked country to even have a navy but the rivers around here are all tributaries of the mighty Amazon River and as such are patrolled by the Bolivian Navy to prevent smuggling and drug trafficking. Right now I'm stood on one of the artificial hills that we were telling you about that they built so that they could still grow crops during the rainy season. Alright, last stop for the day. Now we're headed to a local hangout spot called Laguna Suarez. Although the water doesn't look all that inviting, the lagoon is artificial, so it's free from anything harmful, and where literally everyone in Trinidad comes to cool off in the heat. And that was it. Our time in Trinidad, Bolivia was up. Well, not before we experienced the nightlife. It was a university city after all. We were definitely a little worse for wear. And the open drains that Trinidad has were, um, shall we say, less than pleasant the next morning. On a serious note, if you come here, make sure that you bring plenty of mosquito protection because dengue fever is rife. I do think we actually went a little bit overboard though. But in our next episode, we head even deeper into the Bolivian Amazon so it does get put to good use. Be sure to join us for that. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And let us know what you think about Trinidad down in the comments below. And we've also linked a blog post in the description with a load more info on the city. Don't forget to like and subscribe as usual and press that little alarm bell thingy so you know immediately next time we post a video. See ya! Bye!